Hi, my name is Amy Barrett Daffin, and I'm here to talk to you about the Palette Builder Color Tool by Joan Wolfram. I am the publisher at CNT Publishing and our resident color expert who loves to do demos of our color tools. So let me show you what, what is so cool about the Palette Builder Color Tool. So the first thing I want to show you is it has this great carrying case. It has a lovely grayscale or value finder on the back that's great to use if you are trying to figure out where your color is on the value scale. And how would you figure that out? Well, you would take a picture of the colors that you were going to use in a quilt, like all your different fabric laid out, and then you'd convert it to black and white, and then you could hold it up, your phone up next to this or your iPad and see what, um, what your value is, and that helps you get good value. Okay, so you open up this pack, and it's just, it's so yummy. And we give you information about all the different ways that how to use this tool. So the first thing is, there are four color wheels in here. And we did this specifically because we were getting requests from people who said, I wanna make a low volume quilt, or I want jewel tones, or I want neutrals. And so what we did was we came up with a color wheel that speaks specifically to those requests. So the first one is tints, and so you pull out this adorable little color wheel, and you've got all your tints on it, and you've got tints with different amounts of white added. And I have to say, this looks like ice cream to me. It looks like a lovely sorbet selection. So you've got all your tints for um, the 12 colors on the color wheel, and then the pure color is here in the middle, and each color has a number, and the number is helpful for when you flip it over. So when you flip it over, what you see are the color families. With number one here, I can see that uh, the complementary of number one is number seven, which is right across the color wheel, which is what makes it complementary. So then if I turn that over, I see that number one is yellow, and number seven is violet. And that way I know I can get complementary colors. There are other color families on here as well. We've got analogous up here in the corner. We have split complementary here and triadic here. So by using this tool, it's a great way to get pleasing color every time. So you can take this into the fabric store or into your fabric stash and you can look at colors that will work with the color families that I just showed you. So this is for the tints. So that's this one. Whoops. This is tones, which adds gray. And it works the exact same way. It has the same information on the back. So you can see how you've got your tints that have white and your tones that have gray added. And then you get into the really, I love the jewel tones. Then there's the jewel tones and those add shades. So now I'm trying to make sure you can see everything. So now I've added shades. And so you can see these beautiful jewel tones, these muted, more, um, a little bit softer tones. And then you've got your really low volume tints here. And then the last wheel, see if I can pull it out without making everything fall over. There we go and put the shades there. And then we have the neutrals. And what are the neutrals good for? The neutrals help you balance your colors and help to create um, more harmony so that when you're working with, if you're using tints, you can also add in neutrals that add turquoise or purple or yellow. And you can see how those neutrals change based on the colors that you add and it has the same color families on the black. So, you know, looking at them this way, you could decide I'm gonna work on a jewel tone quilt and you take your shades in. Now, the thing to remember is if you use only tints, only tones, or only shades, what you're gonna end up with is no change in value. And so your quilts may look a little flat or they won't have movement. So it's always a good idea to mix in a variety of tints, tones, and shades. So now I'm gonna show you how does this work with a piece of fabric. So I'm looking at this piece of fabric here, and I love Aboriginal fabric, but 
boy, is it crazy. And there are so many colors and so many patterns and so much going on, I sort of don't know where to start. And that's where the color tool really comes in handy. So I'm looking at what I have here. And the first thing that I notice is that um, there's a lot of this color right here. And I'd say that is pretty darn close to an aqua green. Now, a little tip I wanna tell you about color is, you know how, how color always comes in a wheel? That's because there are 365 colors and each color is separated by a certain amount. So if there are 24 colors, they're separated by increments of 15. So if there are 12 colors, they're separated by increments of 30. So in this case, I'm gonna say aqua green is pretty darn close. And when I look at my aqua green, I'm thinking that it's right along here, which is that middle, uh, a little bit of the darker of the tints. So I'm looking at that and I'm like, wow, that looks really good. So what do I wanna put with that? And I could just decide to do complementary, but because I like to complement, complicate my life, I'm gonna look at number four and I'm going to say, let's go triadic. So that's 12 and eight. So now I'm looking at number four, number eight, and number 12. And if I look at these three colors, I definitely can find a nice color family that'll work with this quilt. And I can see that there is definitely some purple in here, around here. And I can also see that there's um, an orange yellow around here. So then what I would probably do is I would take my other color wheels and I would say, okay, in the orange yellow, I could definitely go with one of these and I could add in one of those or I could add in an orange yellow from this. So you can see how using all three wheels can give you an opportunity to really play with the color. Um, and one of the things I really wanna encourage you to do is if you have 20 minutes in your day or 15 minutes and you just wanna have a little bit of a creative break, pull out your color tool, your palette builder, pull out a piece of fabric, start picking colors and then start pulling fabric out of your stash. And as you pull that fabric out of your stash, create your own little palette and then take a picture of it and save it on your phone until the next time you need to work on a quilt or if you just wanna get some inspiration and you just start flipping through those photos and seeing all the different color combinations you put together because that is how you build color confidence. So thank you so much for checking out our new product. And once again, it is the Palette Builder Color Tool by Joan Wolfram.